Hello everyone, today we are working on a tutorial for The Man Who Stole a Leopard by Duran Duran and bear in mind that I played this cover a few years ago so not everything is exactly the same here as it was back then. Um, some of you, these changes you may not agree on but if you are watching a tutorial you basically already know how these things go. It's up for your own interpretation and this is only a way I feel like that song could be played, not the ultimate answer to everything and all. So first off we have this melody or chord progression going on with the right hand, so you have G minor beginning on D and D major starting on D again and again starting on D we have B flat major and a normal C major and then start the melody on the left hand jump the left hand to support the chord progression but starting on the actual first note of the chord section so on G and you jump the melody onto the right hand the female singing part with this chord and as you can see there's a lot of overlap here so you can either decide whether you want to play this female line on this lower register or shift it up one register higher. I only prefer to shift the female register one octave higher once we are doing the final verse but again up to you. So you start on A flat major, I think, on G major, and on C minor, on E flat major, and up to G major. starting melody line on the right hand while doing these types of chords on the left hand and then you have another verse. What I like to do is like mix it up the song a bit, not basically do the verses and choruses in the same order as Duran Duran did. But hey, <laughs> that's just my opinion that you don't have to be as strict following the rules in this song because in the end you have the whole news section and you can't really play that on the piano so you just let it fade out 
by basically playing this kind of melody. What you want to do with this is in the ending section you work on that and you add the don't spill my secret melody so You can either end on the C major chord or you can go back to the G, G minor. So, as always, this song is very up to your interpretation. So, do whatever you feel like. But if you do a cover based on this tutorial, please link it on the comments down below. And I will see you next time. So, bye!